and them shoot up the bus a while ago. And a woman come like she get shot in her neck back. The door, windscreen, mash out. Yeah, police out here. Look at that place around a hot daddy. Yeah. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent and write. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Saturday evening to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch your snow, my peeps. A knockings and clappings took place yesterday afternoon poor I me mean, i tell you the criminal elements yeah, definitely i get out and getting from bad to worse so that knockings and clappings took place right at the intersection of chesterfield drive in kingston 11 and also that of spanish stone road so right at the intersection with chesterfield drive meets spanish stone road so that is basically at the top of the sea view gardens community right at that prominent bus stop so a bus was there and the criminal element them knock it and clap it in at the bus so again on your screen for you the video clip then of course me get into the meat of the matter and them shoot up the bus a while ago and a woman come like she get shot in her neck back the door windscreen mash out yeah, police out here. Look at that place around a hot daddy. Yeah. So now my peeps, I could get into the meat of the matter of this whole knockings and clappings here. A really sad, sad day it was. The beginning again of another bloody weekend. Yeah man. So the police them say seven people, to be exact, get caught up and seriously injured by the criminal elements who reportedly opened a fire indiscriminately on the public passenger vehicle bus along Spanish Town Road in Kingston sometime shortly after 3 p.m. yesterday. Three children are reportedly among those suffering from them whole heap of knockings and clappings wound received. The injured persons were all rushed to the hospital. At about 2.30 p.m. today, a Toyota Costa motor bus was traveling in a westerly direction towards Spanish Town, coming from the direction of downtown. When on reaching the vicinity of the bus stop at Chesterfield Avenue, the driver made a stop to pick up passengers. Whilst persons were entering the bus, two men on the outside fired several shots indiscriminately at persons inside the bus. At the end of the shooting, we have confirmed so far that seven persons received gunshot injuries. These persons include three children. They were taken to both the Spanish Town Hospital and the Kingston Public Hospital. The scene is currently being processed and the investigation continues at this time. So that are the police version our really take place. No on the spot news media I gotta give you the meat of the matter. Now this brother here presently on your screen known as Biggs. This brother here was the intended target of that knockings and clappings. So Biggs is from an area of Seaview known as Mali. Now Mali have an internal gang war going over there. And last week the so-called reputed gang leader for Mali was buried. Now this brother here was his right hand man. Yeah man, the man went knock it and clap it on behalf of his now deceased boss. Now he was spotted on the front of Seaview that's right at the bus stop. Now upon him seeing the criminal elements coming to get him, he rushed into the bus 
and trying to hide from the criminal elements. But the criminal elements saw that he entered the bus and the bus was about to drive off. So in a bid to calm him up, the men started firing indiscriminately in the bus. He got hit several times and pretended like he lost his life and he was no longer among the land of the living. But upon the police getting there and whisking persons who got injured to the hospital, but to the surprise of the police and also to other persons who thought that Biggs kicked the bucket no longer among the land of the living, dirt settings, slapper settings type of thing, Biggs woke up in the Kingston Public Hospital. He's still in critical condition, but Biggs is very much alive and well. Yeah, man. So as I stated, seven persons end up get can up. I won't state the names of the persons, but I will give you the necessary information for show you how wicked and brutal that experience was for those persons involved. So we have one 30-year-old man. The police recorded that that man get a can up wound to his back. We also have a 42-year-old male who get a can up wound to his leg. We also have a seven year old male. Can you imagine a seven year old little boy? We get a can up wound to his left foot. We also have a 40 year old female who get a can up wound to the head. Yes, you heard me correctly, to the head. We also have a 18 year old male we get can up wound to the left side and also to the abdomen. And we have, last but definitely not least, a 13-year-old student who get can up wounds to the head and upper body. So your sister boy has some serious business going right there, so as it relates to them knockings and clappings there. And them people are not involved in our guan. They never deserve to get the can up can in the way and fashion that it was meted out to them. But these criminal elements literally don't care. Them come for one man and they will easily take the life of several other persons without due regards for the life of those other persons in close proximity to where they are knocking it and clapping it. So this is our present day reality in Jamaica. We, the regular members of Chan Public, have to deal with them all. Dirty kind of boy on a day to day. Basis. Yeah, man, me I tell you, no, my peeps, the thing rough out a John shop there. And still in the St. Andrew South Police Division, we are talking about the Huntsby Police Division. Two persons presently in the custody of the police following guns and ammo seizures on Pottinger Avenue in that particular division. So two men are presently in custody after two guns and several rounds of ammunition were discovered at a house along Pottinger Avenue in Kingston. The operations officer for the St. Andrew South Police Division, Deputy Superintendent Coleridge Minto, stated that the seizures was made during a targeted operation on Thursday. He says that the police will continue to target these gangs in his police division. So listen to what the DSP Coleridge Minto has to say about that operation. Listen. We are going after them. We are finding the weapons. The division can report that three illegal firearms were taken off the streets the last four days. In the first instance, one of the weapons was found in the roof of a house. The other two weapons were found in the bedroom of another dwelling house. Two Taros 9mm pistols were recovered along with 20 9mm live rounds. Let me say this, there are some persons operating in the St. Andrew South area. We have over 70 named gangs with over 50 of them being active. These men are armed and dangerous and should not be approached. They should not be harbored by our citizens. Now, my peeps, you have heard it from the mouth of the deputy superintendent in charge of operations for the St. Andrew South Police Division. The man stated clearly that over 70, not 7 or 17, but 70 known gangs 
in the St. Andrews South Police Divisions with about 50 active out of the 70. One police division, you know. 70 known gangs with 50 presently very much active, heavily armed men. And the police clearly states armed and dangerous. What more do we need to hear for take this thing here serious? The St. Andrew South Police Division, in my view, is the division with the most garrison communities right across the length and breadth of the St. Andrew South Police Division. I think a one good little area that police division has in it and that are up to the Red Hills side of it where they border with that of the St. Andrew North Police Division that are Kansan Spring. But outside of that, a source of hardcore garrison communities them police they have to deal with. So it's not a joke business over there in the St. Andrew South Police Division. One of the hardest police division for any police officer to work in and police. Boy, may I tell you my peeps, the thing rough around a John shop there. So now over there in the Kingston Central Police Division, the Kingston Central Police have listed some more wanted criminal elements. Some of these men presently that I'll be talking about will definitely ring a bell because they have been listed as wanted several times before. But of course, the Kingston Central Police continues to put it out there to you, the regular members of Chan Public, to assist them in finding these criminal elements and taking them off the streets once and for all, one way or the other, walk out, are chalk out yeah man so the first man on the list is this criminal element presently on your screen his name is shanrick nugent otherwise known as dandan Dan. he's from the fleet street area of the kingston central police division and he's wanted for knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of some people now the next man presently on your screen has since been identified as Maverick Edwards, otherwise known as Jeremy in the streets. His last known address, Princess Street, Kingston CSO, and of course, 5 East Greater Portmore over there in the St. Catherine South Police Division. This man is also wanted for take some people life. Now the next man presently on your screen is only known as Ageable. As I say, him look Ageable in him face. Big man, yeah man. But his alias in the criminal underworld is Short Man. This man is also from the Orange Bay area in Portland, Skibo District, Portland and Smith Lane in the Kingston Central Police Division. This man is wanted by the Kingston Central Police for a wounding with intent. Now, this brother presently on your screen have spoken many times about this man as he is a twin and both brothers are wanted at the same time. Yeah, man. How salt can one woman's womb be? To give birth to two boys, I may I tell you the two of them come out as cruff. Yeah, man. The thing rough. So anyway, my peeps, this one presently on your screen has since been identified as Mervyn Henry, otherwise known as Biggie. Now, we don't know how the twin thing go in a Jamaica. The first twin we born always a tad bit bigger than the other twin. So we always call the first one Biggie and the second one Little. So basically, that is the case where these brothers are concerned. He's from the George's Lane era in Kingston. He's wanted for a series of knockings and clappings, some of which results in the loss of life of some people. Also wanted for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition by the Kingston Central Police. Now, this man presently on your screen is the smaller twin known as Marvin Henry, otherwise known as Little. Shares the same address, George's Lane in Kingston, and both wanted for the same set of crime. Illegal possession of firearm and ammunition, knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of some people.
So my peeps, those who live in and around the Kingston Central Police Division and know the whereabouts of these criminal elements are anywhere you are right across the length and breadth of Jamaica or even in the diaspora and I can recognize any one of these criminal elements presently on your screen to be a part of your community or residing or hiding out in your community. Please alert the law enforcement officers and as always if you not trust the police them link on the spot news media or any like-minded vlogger and pass the information on to them and of course we will definitely make use of it and pass it on to the relevant authorities who can make effective change <laughs> yeah man so anyway my peeps remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast on the spot news media <laughs> yeah man